Call us on your cell phone. Culinary hotline bling. That can, can only mean, mean one thing. thing. It's a Friday. On your feel good breakfast show, we do it our way. It's time for the culinary hotline bling. Sing, sing, sing. I feel like my fellow cast members here just are not in the vibe, and I'm very disappointed. Let's try that again. Culinary hotline bling. Sing, sing, sing. Yes, get inside. Coco, Sena. Uh, so listen, today. We're talking about that dough, and I'm not talking about money or moolah, but the dough that you actually make in the kitchen. And that's because on Sunday, we are celebrating World Co-Sister Day. Mm. Yeah? It's an actual thing. And here to tell us more about co-sisters, uh, from a co-sister is a, the bubbly Khadija Khan, uh, <laughs> who's here to give a helping hand to our friend from Australia, Ben <laughs> Angerman. Of course, we join yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. From Australia. Is that a lie? Yeah. You're not from Australia, are you? No, no, I'm really from Australia. Yeah, You're really good looking yeah, from yeah. Australia. Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Well, he, he, he's, he's, he's at Nkloba. That oh. special kind of Australian. <laughs> and Anelim Dada in the kitchen as well. Um, I'm really, really excited about this because this is a South African classic, right, Khadija? Yes, yes. Well, that's the Cape Malay one. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is the one that it's spicy. The dough is also deep fried and mm -hmm. it's got spice in it. And then you have to you heat your syrup. Yes. But the other one is of Dutch origin. That one the comes. Cook sister. A cook sister. Yeah, that's the dough that's platted. Yeah. Uh, and then it gets dipped into cold uh, syrup, sugar syrup. Yeah. So that's the difference. After it's yeah. made, obviously. After, yeah, okay. it's been deep yeah. fried and then you dip it in the cold. So ah. yeah. Ben, the any one. prior experience with cook or cook sisters? So I've tasted the cook sisters before. I obviously yeah. come from a Dutch origin, so I absolutely love it, but I've never tried the cake and lace stuff. Yeah. So I'm keen. Yeah. Do, do you have something similar in, in, in Australia? Uh, that, that, no, that, that, no, nothing no. at all? We actually got nothing like this whatsoever. Really? Fantastic. Yeah. Wow. Really? No. You don't believe it? <laughs> no, I don't. That's that awesome. is Australian. No, yeah. so Australian <laughs> like, makes every dessert in the world. <laughs> Australian No, but that is dessert. South African, let's, let's be honest. So. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get to actually making a kusister. As I said, on Sunday is World Kusister yeah. Day. So mm -hmm. what do we need to make this? Okay, so we have our flour here, and then we add our spices. Is that turmeric? What, that? Is that turmeric? That okay. one? Yes. No, that's... Nachi peel. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, so we've got. <laughs> let's, let's go. This is, yeah, we've got the um, cinnamon yes. and the cardamom and the ginger oh, and the no. anise seed and then the nachi peel. Nachi peel is, you know, the tangerine. You know yes. the nachi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You drink, you just mix everything. Because essentially, I mean, this is a, a dessert, so adding something like turmeric would give it a, a bit more savoury feel. Yeah, so yeah. This is a no. sweet dessert. Well, you do get uh, uh, turmeric in, in, in spice in sweet things as well. So okay. Don't, yeah. But to add kind of, okay. you know, this is the thing. Spices <laughs> you can mix with everything. All right. And then so you, you have your sugar and your yeast. Oh, yeast. And mm -hmm. then, yeah, and then you mix all the dry ingredients and then you can mix the, the milk and water. Yep. That's warm water and cold milk. Mix it with the mashed potato. Okay. Mashed potato. Yeah, and your oil that. and your butter. Okay. I didn't see and that. And that is the wet. It's like my dream, carbs and carbs. And <laughs> in there as well. <laughs> That's your thing. Listen, you know, if you'd like to, so if, basically, if this is also it's your dream, SMS the keyword dish to 33728. Khadija, you can... Uh, okay, you can basically it's just the dry and the wet. You mix them together uh -huh. and then we move on. Uh, ben, yes. do, do Australians have a, 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 a dessert as prolific as Kusister, that there's World Kusister Day? Do, do they have something special like that? Yeah, we do actually. We've got something called uh, a lamington. So it's a vanilla sponge that's usually filled with a bit of cream, uh, some strawberry jam, and then it's coated with chocolate and sprinkled wow. with um, coconut. Does it have a day though, like an international day? Um, no, just every day is Lamington Day. <laughs> oh, that's a great comeback. That is a great comeback. <laughs> you can mix that in here now. Yeah, I can put it in. All right, so the mashed potato and the yeah. wet ingredients mix goes into mix our flour with the spices. And once this is mixed through, you just leave it in a warm place to cool for about an hour or so, depending on the day, obviously. Uh -huh. But a hot day doesn't take so long. Okay. And once this is done, we move on to the... The dough. Can you pass that, Be please? Before we do move on, yeah, I wanted to ask Anela, how, how well adept are you in the kitchen? Are you look? I'm I'm very good in the kitchen, but when it comes to baking, I won't lie, I suck. Really? I'm really bad. Also because when it comes to baking, once you've made something, 
and it's in the oven, you can't go and change you can't it. Go back. Whereas if you're making like a, you know, like lamb, whatever, yeah. you know, you, you always can just open the pot and fix it if something and, goes, uh, okay. you know, bad. I feel you. So feel with you. this, I just I step back. Now, this is easy enough. So you can uh, SMS the keyword dish to three three seven two eight, and we'll send you a link to the recipe as well as the ingredients list. Okay, what is next, Major? Right. Uh, just a little tip. So if oh. this is a bit too sticky, mm -hmm. so you take a little bit of oil in your hand and you dab it on the dough and around it mm -hmm. before you stick it out, put it in the microwave. Mm -hmm. to, to prove. Okay, yes, and just then, give it... Um, not, not to cook, I mean, just to keep it warm. Yes, yes. You know, in a, and then um, you keep it in there, then it won't stick to the bowl. Okay, fantastic right? stuff. I'll and hold now, on to that, Ben, and I'll take it to uh, around here. Food. There we go. Actually, I was about to ask you, let's say I don't have time for an hour, like, in, in outside in the sun for it to kind of rise. Can I just, like, put it on a pot like that, like, close yes, to a, yes, a hot plate? Yes, but plate not then. too hot, though, because yeah. it will affect Just a little yeah, bit of just heat. just get some heat. Mm, okay. Look at you with the She's baking good. science knowledge. She's hey? good. What? Okay, now, now, what do we do? Can we get this out of the way? The oil does need to be very hot, though, right? The, the oil, oil does need to get hot, but we're first going to make our little ball. So oh. we, we spread a, piece, a little bit of oil. Or some people use flour, which my mom did. She loved using. But she, you know what? She didn't measure things like it was a little bit of that and a cup of that and a pinch of that. But she so always got it right. Okay. And she always got it right. So So just pass the dough bowl to me once you've uh, taken a portion of it because I want everyone to be able to see what you're doing. Oh, sorry. Yeah. There we oh. go. I'll hold on to this for a second. And okay. then we just make our little balls. Roll it. So a little bit oil. More. There you go. We there make go. balls like this and oh, we rest them on the, like in a row. You'll see once you get it, then it must rest for about half an hour. But sure. you'll see once we get to the bottom, then the top is ready. So oh. then we go and... We just give it a little stretch like that, uh, and then and into, into the pot. The oil. And then I'm assuming you, you judge by That's when it's ready, when it's golden brown on the and outside. And that is like what that, it looks right? like, yes. And we can just, you know what, it pops up and it, you can see that it's ready. If you don't know what heat, just put a small piece in. Mm -hmm. And once it pops up, then the heat is ready. Fantastic Perfect. stuff. Let's quickly go to this process once you've made it and how you and coat it And then we this take beautiful... the sugar syrup and then, well, I'm that's going so to be we, we dip it in the we, we heat it up and then we just dip it in the here we go in, in the sugar, sugar syrup, syrup make sure and it's then nice we and coat yeah, it. glaze Ooh. it <laughs> and then let's excited right and then, now yeah, and then we put it into our coconut into our, yeah. fantastic yeah. stuff so one more time it's the keyword dish to 33728 sunday is world kusister day celebrate you late enjoy the day uh, and of course uh, we're going to be coming back again with the culinary hotline playing sing 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 very short It's my feel good show. Call us on your cell phone. Culinary hotline bling. That can hold an Oli ball, and we told you a little bit about it before uh, we went to a break. But we were saying it looks very much like Ikuin, yeah? I know, and it I thought those were chips. chalk chips, but then Ben says it's not, it's raisins. Yeah. Correct. Okay. And, and then where did you, where, how, how did you come to learn about this recipe? Um, um, so this is something that I used to make with my Oma all the time. We literally make it for every Christmas and every New Year's, so it's kind of like a festive thing. With your, with your Oma? With my Oma. Did yeah. you just call her your Oma? <laughs> my is that Oma. What the, do you, yeah, do you yeah, call grandmother's call, yeah. Omas in yeah. Australia? No, 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 it's just because of the Dutch origin, we still call her Oma. Oh, there uh, we go, yeah, beautiful yeah. stuff. Australia, South Africa, Dutch, I'm all over the place. Around, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Mr. Passport! <laughs> Frequent flyer! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so take us through this recipe. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Um, so I'm going to fry off some now, but what I'll get you to do is um, you can start making the dough. Yeah. So we have some flour in here, a little bit of salt. Mm -hmm. um, we'll get you to add also the yeast and also the sugar. sugar. Um, so just mix all the dry ingredients together. That's sweet, whatever and that is. And you sweet. can start to add the milk if you like. It's, uh, it's an icing. Uh, is it icing sugar? No. What's what in here, Ben? Yeah, that's icing sugar. Oh, so you, what you do is you actually top it uh, with icing sugar right at the end. Is, is that an ice cream scoop? Oh. This is an ice cream scoop. This is how you get that, <laughs> that rustic brown yes. um, shape. Yeah. Is this the type learn. of dough where you, you can eat it raw as well? I, I wouldn't. Okay. Um, but you know. <laughs> we will, we will. Don't worry. <laughs> but you know the secret, hey. the secret uh, about, about making uh, dishes with, with yeast? Yeah? Yeah? The, you, no, I don't know the secret. Tell me. You, you, because le yeast is a living organism. It you is. have to feed what it. What biology? You have to give it life. <laughs> okay. So that warm milk activates it. It allows the genus opus inside the yeast to... <laughs> sing, sing, sing. <laughs> All right. It basically keeps it alive, okay? Oh, okay. And it gives you that, that uh, beautiful sour taste as well. Oh, so I'm so gonna you add uh, one egg now. This will give it some stability. Mm -hmm. um, Seems pretty easy thus far. It's very, very easy. Yeah. Um, so also some butter. 
So it was uh, flour. Where, where do I get the recipe? <laughs> well, I'll just sort you out. He would eat to 33728. Okay. I'll just and do that we'll later. Send you, we'll send you the ingredients list as well as a link to the recipe. All right, so this is the kind of consistency you're looking for. It's got to be yeah, not, not as stiff as the previous dough yeah. that we made. Yeah. Ah. But then you'll set this aside somewhere warm uh, yeah. and it will increase in size. Okay, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. So if, if you're not getting that right kind of consistency, right, um, what can you add? Do you add water or more warm milk to it? To um, I would add a little bit more warm milk. Um, just to loosen milk. it up if you want to, yeah. That's it, Ben? And when, when do you put the raisins in? Um, right at After the end. After it rises? No, no, you put it in now. Yeah. Okay. So it yeah. rises with the raisins? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It does. Ah. Now, um, you can uh, marinate uh, and soak your raisins uh, with rum if you want. Um, or you can just soak them in water. It's really it's optional what you want to do. Did you, you say rum? Yes. Okay. Of course. Of okay. Course. If you're that way inclined, <laughs> it's the weekend after all. Did you say yeah. I became interested immediately? Also add some <laughs> say what lemon zest. Yeah. Um, and sometimes the Dutch actually add some uh, sautéed uh, Granny Smith apples to them as well. Wow. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah that adds to the texture. Yeah. That's looking this very, very good. It, yeah, 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 it really does. Oh, so man. set that aside. It'll take a few minutes. Uh, no, sorry, a bit longer than that. Probably about an hour to rise. Mm -hmm. And then from there, you take your ice cream scoop and you can start cooking yeah. them off. Um, when you do cook them off, yes. Ooh, you want good. to get them quite dark. That's actually how they're meant to be. Yes. So oh. put down some powdered sugar. There we go. Make it look lovely. Remember when you have guests, that's what you do. Presentation <laughs> is everything. Oh, yeah, exactly. Absolutely. You eat with your eyes. There we go. And then... And then we'll place these on. And we have some beautifully made... Oli bollen. Oli bollen. Oil balls. Oil balls. There we go. Oh, no. huh. Would you like to try one, Anil? <laughs> of course I'd like to try one. I'll just dust it with a little bit more powdered sugar. Starting to look a little bit Ooh. like Christmas. Christmas. Hey! Hey! hey. Hey, we are there. You I watched watch from alone. SMS E to 33728. Uh, how warm is that one? Can you, That's can you another level. It? Yeah, you go for it. Just make sure you hit it with some powdered sugar. Oh, yeah, do that. Do that. Because I want Anela to be able to experience. You know, Ben says you eat with your eyes. I beg to differ, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> you suddenly eat with your mouth. There we go. And? Mm. Mm. Wait, mm. guys. Yes. Is that what it's supposed to I think that one's a little bit under. I know! That's that's why. Why. No, I asked, I asked, and then he said, okay, <laughs> so you've clearly got to leave it in the oil for slightly longer until it gets there dark. We go. There we go. I was about to be like, who's going to tell Ben? That oil was so hard. Ben, thank you very much, Khadija. Thank you very, You're very welcome. much. You're welcome. It was so um, nice. And of course, as I said, Sunday is World Crew System Day. Make sure that you celebrate the day, make your favorites, send us pictures on our Facebook page. We would love to hear from you. And of course, share those memories with us uh, about where you remember having crew sisters and how you had them with your family. And thank you very much to the two of you. And that's it for the Culinary Hotline Bling! The lemon zest is amazing. Call us on your cell phone. Culinary Hotline Bling! That can only mean one thing. Just when you thought we were done with the goodness and deliciousness in the feel-good kitchen, ha! We are back with the Culinary Hotline Bling! Sing, sing, sing! Why are you laughing at me? No, because at the ha! It's, you know, we all have that inner ha! I know, moment. it's like it's such an evil thing. Listen, I don't know about you, but have you been feeling the, the change in the weather? Yes, and our summer we, bodies are net. not ready. <laughs> <laughs> but in some ways, we are shaking off those winter blues and the chill, especially in the kitchen, and it's going to be tasting so, so good while we're at it. <sighs> and so today, we're making braided cheese bread, and uh, this might just become your go-to picnic loaf uh, this coming spring. And Ben is going to be showing us the ropes of how to make this, from the Oli Bolin to the braided cheese bread. Let's do it. A favourite of yours? Uh, yeah, no, I really like this. We got something like this in Oz as well, so, yeah. yeah Fantastic. It's quite popular. Right, so how do we make this one then? Okay, so we've got our flour, our salt in here. Okay. We're going to add our yeast and then add some lukewarm water. Yeah. There we go. All right. And add some warm water, right? Yeah. Just okay. to kind of can I, I, Yes, you're going to work this, so I just want you to emulsify it the best that you can and turn it can into I just, a dough. I can you jump over? No, 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 you don't, I will. Yeah. You, you don't stir it, Nelly. Fold. You emulsify. <laughs> emulsify. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, combining all the ingredients. Emulsify. It's a fancy way to say it. it sounds like yeah. a cough mixture. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's... <laughs> Oh, I like you. You help me to... Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I know that's where you were at there. <laughs> Alright, so once it's emulsified and uh, looks something like that, are you going to allow it to prove for yes, a little while? Yes, you must. You must, yes. Yeah? That's how you get the uh, light fluffy texture. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, so what we've done here is just rolled out this dough that we've made prior. 
to about what what kind of thickness are you looking for here? Uh, it really depends uh, how thick you want your bread. Mm -hmm. And there's no right or wrong way to do this as well. Okay, good. And then... What do people do wrong when they're making dough? What do they do wrong? Yeah, mostly. <laughs> I mean, in your line of work, you know, you know. <laughs> people I feel, seen this I feel, I feel like it's uh, quite difficult to stuff up, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Yeah. But perhaps maybe... As long maybe as you not, give it the time that it I was needs. about to say, yeah, not being yeah, yeah. patient enough when you're allowing the dough to yeah. prove to, to double in size yes. so that it does the work. How's that looking there? It looks I, really I just, good. Oh, yeah. You've done an amazing oh, job. I emulsified. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is just um, dress up. Is that tomato paste? It is. It's like a, a pesto. Oh. Uh-huh. And that's going to be the inside of this beautiful, cheesy, braided... Bread. Well, it really just depends how you want to do it. So I'm actually going to twist these off and form like a bit of uh, a round bun like so. Okay, all right. What, what would you kind of like like to add into this, Anneli, for uh, making it at home? I think uh, olives. What oh, I like olives. Also, yeah. if your name was Anneli, it would be Yeah, well, you know, I just thought I'd jump in. <laughs> no, you're just uh... helping me out. So when you say olives, like a tapenade, can I put a tapenade yeah, in there? Yeah, of course, of course. How does tapenade cook? I've never had it cooked. Is it the same taste as in when it's not cooked? <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like olives. Is it? Okay, all right. No, but I'm, I'm cool with cheese. I love cheese. I mean, yeah. cheese is the cousin of chicken, so, you know, for me. <laughs> Speaking of that relation, cheese. let me tell you more about cheese. In fact, the one that we're using here, Clover Cheese, they've got a beautiful range and a variety of different cheeses, oh, ranging so. from cheddar to gouda. Uh, now, tusses and white cheddar and mature cheddar cheese blocks and feta. There's all kinds of cheese for you to enjoy. And, of course, you can always tell the strength of the cheese by looking at this indicator over here. Like, for instance, a mild cheese would be a number two, and a very strong cheese would be a number four. So you can gauge depending on how you like Get your out, taste. Really? Yes, exactly. What's that, yeah? There we go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you can have a look over there. You can even open it and taste it if you want. Give me a knife. <laughs> I know that's the only person who would ever do that. Like, really? Can I do that? Okay, give me a knife quickly. Okay, so now that you've done that, mm -hmm. here's the braiding part, Anne Lebon. Mm -hmm. look, 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 there you go, there you go. There we go. Like you would do someone's hair, like you'd braid yes. someone's hair. Oh. Do, you, do, you, do you braid hair from time to time, uh, Ben? No, no, it's not. I wouldn't say it's my forte. Yeah, but no. <laughs> bra braiding bread is. Yeah. That's your thing. Oh, there look at are. that. Lovely. And just, just get nasty with it. Just allow your hands to that be involved. That is so pretty. Yeah. Um, I think your braiding appointment is vibrating. <laughs> <laughs> He's allowing me. Oh. <laughs> yes, it's the keyword Clover to 33728. And we'll send you a link to the recipe as well as the ingredients list. If you want to know how we made these, take a look. <laughs> Clover cheese is for those who love life. Where everything falls into place and melts away our cares. Clover, for the love of cheese. Made with love by Clover. Celebrate spring, balmy days and long, lazy picnics with Clover. This cheesy braided bread is sure to impress your guests at your next get-together. Add one packet of instant yeast to three cups of bread flour. Then add a teaspoon of salt and one and a quarter cups of lukewarm water. Combine until a dough starts to form, then turn it out and knead for 10 to 15 minutes. Pop the dough into a bowl and leave to double in size. Turn the dough out again, then divide into six equal balls. Roll each ball into a rectangle. Spread over a layer of sun-dried tomato pesto. Then sprinkle 400 grams of grated clover mature cheddar and tussis cheese, followed by a teaspoon of dried mixed herbs. Season to taste and carefully roll into a log. Using a sharp knife, slice your dough in half, lengthways. Then braid the dough. Shape the dough into a ring, then cover and allow to double in size again. Bake the rolls at 180 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Top with salads and cold meat and you're done. Go outside, find a spot in the sunshine and treat your guests to delicious, freshly baked clover braided cheese rolls. Delicious! Made with love by Clover. Simply delicious. SMS the keyword Clover to 33728. And I'm sure that you'll enjoy this this coming spring when you're having those picnics with your friends and family. You'll you, you be enjoying it, enjoying it as much as Anela is enjoying the cheese right now. Right? Do you know what? In my enjoyment, I found out that there's an easier way to open than I did. Because I, you know, I, you, I, I got in there with a knife. You were with you know? a knife. <laughs> there's a place. Look at this. Come zoom in on this. There's a place where you can just peel it. 
and then you can open it, which works yeah. wonders if you told people you're on a diet and at night you have to sneak to the fridge to have some cheese. There we go. Because it does it quietly. Yeah. There are. Ah! And then you and get then the money. You don't need to be opening up their drawers, finding the cling, 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 cling. cling. Uh -uh, it's just like a shh. But if you'd like to. It's a bank job of cheese. I present you with that. Uh, you can let me know what you think. That looks so good. Yeah, does it look good? Yeah. Fantastic. Try it out at home. SMS the keyword Clover to 33728. Let's break bread, shall we? Oh, look at you. Ben, thank you very much. Oh, you're so, so welcome. Good. It looks so good. Clover okay, thank you. It's for those who love life, where everything falls into place and melts away our cares. Clover, for the love of cheese. Made with love by Clover.